So let's try another table to really solidify our practice. So looking at this problem, we know that we first need to find the slope or the rate of change based on the y values and the x values. So I'm going to pick any pair of points and I decide I'm gonna pick these two. I could have picked any set, but I'm gonna pick the two y values, the 12 and the nine, which means I have to pick the x values that match with them, the two and the three. So I see that going from 12 to nine is actually getting smaller and I'm not sure by how many. So I'm gonna subtract and I see that they are subtracting by three on the y and the x is increasing by one. Well, I remember that it's the same as the proportional y over x, but this time the change in y over the change in x. And so the y is changing by subtracting three. So I need to take that sign with me because it is a subtraction or a negative and then a plus one or a positive one. Okay, and so now if I simplify it, I end up with a negative three remembering our tic-tac-toe chart, remember with our signs in case we forget that we have a negative and a positive number next to each other, which means we have to have a negative answer on our quotient or on our final answer. So I'm gonna write our slope is negative three. And then our y-intercept, I remember that we have to look at the x column and we need to look and see for the value zero. Hmm, well I actually don't see a zero in the x, but I do know how it is increasing, right? I know it's increasing by one. Oops, let me put a pen here so you can actually see it. So it's increasing by one here and by one here. So could I then work backwards until I get to zero? Well sure, let's go ahead and add some rows to it. So if I subtracted one, right, instead of adding one, let's take away one, I would get to one. And then if I subtracted one more, I would get to zero. So I'm just gonna add another row to our table, okay? Well, if I am using the same rate of change on the X side to get from one to zero, then I have to do the same thing on the Y column. So instead of subtracting three to work backwards, I need to add three. And 12 plus three is 15, but that's the value that matches with one, and we needed to find the value that matches with zero. So I have to add three one more time and I get 18. So now I have found my zero in the X and the Y value that matches with it is 18. So that is our Y intercept, 18. Awesome. So now that we have found that constant, now that we have found B, let me label it as B. Because remember we have all sorts of names for the Y intercept or the starting value or the constant or B. We can now put the pieces together to write our equation. We know it should be y equals mx plus b. And we know the m is the slope and the b is the constant. And so I'm getting ready to place my numbers. And I know that the slope was negative 3, so y equals negative 3x plus, and the constant was 18. Awesome. So now that we've tried a couple of tables, one had a constant given in the table and the other one was missing the constant, I want us to try out some practice problems on our own.